Podcast. Hi guys, welcome back to the ZZ Bill Show. We have a special guest. I think you are my first female. It's lit. You're my first female that has been brave enough. I wouldn't say brave. Nah, it is brave. <laughs> Why does everyone... Listen, okay, let me ask you a question. Yeah. I'm going to jump straight in. Obviously, it's Paige Cakey. I don't need to introduce... She's... I feel like you're kind of a veteran. <laughs> you've been you've been around for a while. I don't know if that's a good thing. That makes me sound like I've been out here like for no, too you long. Ha- you have though. When did you come into the scene? Like 2012. 2012, yeah. It was music first, right? Or acting. Do you know what it was? It was music first, but no one saw the music. And then it was the acting. I'd done the Waterloo Road. And, right, and yeah. then that's how I say. Okay, female to female. Even though I'm not really like on this like oh yeah, females so we must love each other. If you don't yeah. like each other, you don't like each other. But as a female. What perception do you get of me? Um, I'm asking this because I feel a lot of females, especially within the industry, uh-huh. they kind of are a little bit, I, I, it's not scared, they're a bit wary of me or they either just don't like me. I don't have a lot of female allies within the Do you know what scene. I think it is? I feel like you're just not scared to speak out. But then, like, surely, as another woman... I don't follow your page, but I always see you, like, on Shade Bar and that, and you're just... You're very outspoken, in it, And I just feel like maybe girls feel a bit like, ooh. Yeah, but then I don't feel no way. Yeah, like, I, I see your things, and I'm always just like, okay. I think that's weird, yeah. because it's like, surely, being a female, you would think, oh, yeah, I might not agree with her, but she's a female, so... But then I'm kind of contradicting myself, because I just said, it, just because <laughs> you're a female doesn't mean I should like you because you're a female. What, so no one supports you? I wouldn't say no one supports me, but I've slid in a couple of people's DMs to yeah. be like, would you like to come on the show? And they kind of air me or they pretend that they don't see it. And I know you see it. Oh, I know yeah. they've seen it. And they just, they just don't want to come on. And when I go to events, it's always, there's like that kind of frosty vibe. How do you feel getting to events then? I just make sure I just go with someone that I like. So you don't watch people? What do you mean? So like you don't worry if these people like you or not? No, it doesn't bother me. So you never feel some type of way, like, anxious or anything? No, not really. So you just roll up? I just, yeah, make sure I've got somebody with me, yeah. just in case anyone wants to try anything, because yeah. I'm not really a fighter. Has anyone tried anything? No, this is the thing. Uh. No one's, and I kind of, this is, sounds bad, I kind of just want to get that out of the way. If some, what, you want just, someone to try you? I don't, want someone <laughs> to try, I don't want someone to try you, but I just, because I get so much, oh, you're this, this yeah. person online, I've never had anyone come up to me, yeah. whether that be people that are in the industry or people that are just watchers um, come up to me and say they dislike me or anything like that. Yeah. Which I think is weird considering I get so much backlash online. I'm surprised. Maybe, maybe I'll put this out now in the next, the next week. <laughs> Someone come and try. <laughs> I'm actually not saying that. But thank you for coming on. Yeah, man, I've been waiting, but dreading. This was how supposed to happen a while ago. A while ago. Mm-hmm. And then we had some issues, and, but now you're here. Yeah, and you. I didn't think it was going to come. I was always going to come, I was just prolonging it, innit? Why? Because I just felt like I was coming for a grilling. No, no grilling, it's going to be a conversation. Obviously, uh, I'm going to hit you with some questions, yeah. but that's, that's how it is. So, but it's, it's better if you just have a conversation, you can ask me questions, I can yeah. ask you questions, and then we're good to go. Come. So you said 2012. Yeah. How do you feel about the scene at the moment? The scene now? Yeah. The scene now is lit. I feel like it's strong. There's a lot of like lit artists out. You think the scene's quite good at the moment? Yeah, I think it's strong. What about females within the scene? Do you feel like they support each other? It's sad, but I don't feel like we do support each other. Seriously? No. Why do you say that? It depends on what you're talking about. If you're talking about rappers, yeah, like then rappers. I say I don't feel like we really support each other. Why? Like, I feel like the support back in the days used to be different. Like, you know when they done like the all stars female thing? Okay, right, And they yeah. had all the females on it. Yeah. We don't do things like that. I feel like Females are just very competitive. Do you think it's um, because we feel like there's only one yeah, spot? Yeah, I feel like we feel like there's, yeah. there can only ever be one spot. But yeah, there can be bare guys. Yeah, so guys but will post can, each other. Yeah, but girls don't post another girl's mixtape, album, whatever, when it drops. Do you post people's stuff? I post videos. I post me singing to songs. No, like, would, if somebody, like, if Miss Banks drops an album, are you going to post yeah, it Yeah, I would post it. But I just feel like the, that, that love doesn't, it doesn't... But people when you see people it. out, it's fine though. Yeah, I'm cool with all the females. Like everyone's right. cool. You know so, I mean? are you signed at the moment? No, independent. Always oh. been independent. Cause you, you were signed to always recording, right? Yeah, it was like not signed like 
that. It was like management. Okay. Yeah. Are you still cool with them? You still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cool. I'm cool with everyone. I feel like you're cool with everyone. Yeah, I am. You don't have no beef with anyone. No. Everything's cool. Well, apart from obviously Lady Lucia, you have beef with her. I don't have beef with anyone. Yeah. I just want to put that out there. I don't you have don't have beef with beef her? with anybody. Was you two together? Yeah, everyone knows this. Okay, and then what happened? You just broke up? Just broke up, innit? Just how? What's, are you bi? Are you... Yeah, I like girls and guys. Okay. Not going to beat around the bush. <laughs> no, 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 no pun intended. So for, for Valentine's, what are you doing? Any girlfriends, any um, guys taken out? What's I'm happening? I'm going to go out to eat. Um, first, I'm going to go to a Galentine's brunch okay. in the morning right. at Freya. Right. Then I'm going to go out to eat. Then I'll just see where the night takes me. Might go out, might have drinks, who knows? So are you single at the moment? Who knows? Ooh. Ooh. So that basically, that's what she's saying. She's like, in the day, she's going to like go out with her girls. Then she's going to go home, freshen up. And then in the <laughs> evening, some guy's going to take her out and, and give knows, her... Who knows, Or maybe, it? who knows? Who knows? Do you feel like in this, our scene is more acceptable of females being with females than they are with men being with men? I would say, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I feel like guys have a hard time, like, just coming out in general. So when you Whereas girls, you're just accepted. Did you feel like, though, when you was in your relationship that people kind of made it like a, a fetish kind of thing? Like, ooh, you're with a girl, like... Um, yeah, that's happened before. Yeah. Like, I even say things like that when guys try and move to me when I'm out. Oh, and I just, I'm just like, I'm a, I'm a lesbian. And then they're like, ooh, that's nice, like, what, so what are you saying? Like, you can bring two girls, like... So I'm just thinking, ew, like, it doesn't put anyone off, which is mad. I think that's weird, because I feel like... Because I've, I've, I've been with a girl, I've said yeah. this before on my show, and I, I've always, sometimes... Wait, wait, swear down, you've been with a girl? Yeah, I've been with, like, two girls. No way, yeah. all right. I because I think I've always been a little bit bi-curious. Yeah. I don't think I could be in a relationship with a girl, mm. but I wouldn't mind licking yeah. a girl's vagina. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> wow! <laughs> What am I was into? So I, I'm, I'm like open to that, but I don't think I could be with mm -hmm. with a girl. But I, I get what you mean yeah. about that. Do you feel like people understand you as an artist anymore? Because I feel like because you've come, you you kind of like grow with the social media age. When you came out, social media wasn't really a thing. Yeah, Facebook, but I, Twitter, exactly, yeah. And now it's very much a part of marketing, yeah. much a, a part of everything. Do you feel like? Because I see you do a lot of vlogging and stuff like that. Do you feel like you have to do all of this stuff to stay relevant? Um, it sounds bad how, how you say it, but no. I actually just vlog because I have a personality and I want people to see my personality because I feel like people always misjudge me. Why? Why? Like, what do you mean? I feel like people, like, I get a lot of, oh, I didn't know you was going to be like this. Like, you look different on social media. And I'm like, what do you mean I look different? I get people saying, oh, like, I think, I, I think you think you're too, like, I thought you thought you was too nice. It's that sort of vibe. But do you think that's the whole kind of... I think that's just from pictures. It's just because I pose my best, like, my best self of me. But do you think also that's got a thing to do with the whole light-skinned thing? Women, other women always think, light-skinned women always think they're better than... Probably. Everyone. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But that's a stereotype, because not everyone's the same. 100%. I don't think colour defines how you act. Do you feel like you've ever benefited from like, light skin privilege? Or do you even think that exists? <laughs> do you know what? I feel like it does exist. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. I feel like it does exist, especially for a female. Like, I feel like for a guy, it doesn't matter what you look like. You can yeah, still yeah, be yeah. marketed. I feel like for a female, the industry know what they're looking for. And I'm not just talking about music. I'm talking about acting, right, yeah. all of that. They know what they know what they're looking for. Do That's you get what, what I mean? Especially with acting, because yeah. I've come from an acting background and I know, like, if me and you was to go and audition, it was for a black family, mm. more than likely, mm. whether or not you're better at acting than me, they're probably going to pick the mixed race girl because it's just... Saying that, though, I, like, this is why it's mad. I went for a role of an actual mixed race girl. Yeah. When I got to the audition, every single person there was white with olive skin. But yet the characters was a black, a black male and a white female. So it was meant to be a mixed race child. But they ended up picking just a white girl with olive skin. So it happened. So you think it, not only does it happen... I actually met the criteria, but they weren't looking for that. They knew what they were looking for, innit? I think often, because I always talk about colorism, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I, you're like, yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. we know, yeah. yeah, we know, okay. Like, I talk about it, but people do say to me, 
yeah, okay. This actually, this is the first time I've actually sat down with somebody that not that's not my friend who's light skinned. Yeah. As a light skinned girl, mm -hmm. how do you feel I come across online? Do you think it comes across as I'm attacking light skinned women? I don't or... ever feel the, the thing about me. I never ever feel attacked. Like yeah. you're not coming at me. If you're coming at me, yeah, I probably would feel attacked. But you're not. You're coming. You might be coming at a certain race or whatever. But I don't take it personal. Right. Everyone has their own opinions, isn't it? For me, I would say sometimes I find you as a brand mm -hmm. confusing mm -hmm. like sometimes i don't know if you're like the tomboy yeah. or if you're like the sexy girl mm -hmm. or if you're trying to like mesh the two together or if you're just trying to see what bangs and then you'll go with you know what bangs. i'm not even trying to see what bangs i'm just doing me if i feel like i want to do tomboy one day i'll do tomboy if i want to do sexy the next day i'll do sexy because i saw you tweet one day that you feel that unless you've kind of got your tits out. Oh, okay. I I'm ask just... people, like, would it be more appealing to you if I was, like, sexier? No, I'm talking oh. about when you tweeted really? saying something about, I, I feel like if I don't, if I don't like get my tits out, basically, that I'm not taken seriously. Why do, why do girls have to be half naked to, okay, yeah. for them to be taken serious? That's what it feels like. As so then, an artist, that's what it feels like. So then is, do, is that a right. re maybe the reason why sometimes you do do the sexy thing, or is it... Um, I do it for myself, if I'm honest. Like, my birthday, like, example, yeah. i done that for myself. It's my birthday, I wanted to fleek up. Maybe sometimes I want to do a little sexy and post it up, you know, mm -hmm. make myself feel good. Where do you feel like you get the best... What, like, as in how I dress? Yeah, like, when you put out music, not your personal stuff, mm -hmm. but when you put out music and you do your videos, which yeah. one bangs more for you, like, when, you're, when you have got your tits out or when you're doing, like... Well, none of my music videos have my tits out. Well, you do the, uh, not the, you had that, um, what's that, uh, bulletproof thing on and you had, you no know, the, bulletproof thing. it wasn't, but it was like a, a vest thing and you had the, in a video, a music video, I think it was like, and you had what? your, and it was quite, <laughs> and I remember seeing it, I was like, whoa, okay, wait, okay, cool, I don't even know what video this is, but I, I, I want to see, I even get it, I, I don't like doing, sexy I don't I can't be bothered mainly because I just can't be bothered but I feel like you do have to get your tits out for people to even think like oh yeah Z's banging or what do you get what I mean yeah. no it, it's it's that sort of pressure that's what it is it sounds so bad me saying this but I feel like you do have to get your tits out sometimes so why haven't you ever been signed is that your own that's just me if I'm honest when I first came into the scene I was getting mad meetings with labels but I was never ready I didn't want to sign I've always wanted to do this thing independently. Plus, I don't want no one to change me. Would you ever sign now? Because I, I don't, I feel like people know you more maybe for your online presence more than they actually might do for your music. I think people just know me. They just know the name. Whether they know what I do or not, they know my name. Because you started doing this singing thing now, right? I've been doing this singing thing. Well, I feel like of recent, So if been you a were thing. a real supporter, you would have seen that my first song was singing. Well, the one that I know, the first song was the Same Way song. That's no. how I know oh, of you. Oh, so I had a song before that, which was a cover of T.J. Moses. That's where my music actually came from. But and the whole song was singing with one rap verse at the end. But I mean, you as an artist, mm -hmm. I, was your first single Same Way? With like a proper single? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Before that, I just done like freestyles. So, and, and covers yeah. and stuff like that. So at the moment, what, do you, what are you trying to do more, music or acting? Because I saw that you was in... A theatre production, yeah. which is weird because the role that you played is what I played <laughs> yeah. like a, about a year ago. Yeah. What what are you trying to what are you trying to do now? Um, I'm just continuing the acting and the music. I got a single coming out, which is it's lit. It's gonna be like a loving, but better. So, any uh, any features? Yeah, it's got a feature. I thought you do quite a few of your songs have got features. A few of them, you know, like my songs now, but I featured on quite a few songs, but my songs really don't, you know. If you deep it. But I feel like that's the ones that get pushed the most, though, yeah. the ones that you Because they're under a label. Right, OK. So it's different. Right. So, like, when I released Lovin' yeah. with Gecko, yeah. that got pushed by Freebie. Was you two, like, did a thing? <laughs> what? Do you think we did a thing? I, I mean, you looked very, very close in the video. I mean, obviously, you're actress and stuff, but it looked very, like, you know... Listen, I love Gecko for life, innit? That's not answering the question. That's the answer to the question. Oh. I love Gecko for life. So it's just yes or no, was you two doing a thing? Yes, so you said you like, I love Gecko for life. I love him for life, innit? That's all that needs to be said. Okay. Like and he's okay? He's well? He's well, he's okay. Everyone's okay. That's good, that's good to know.
I feel like this see, this is where the media training comes in, yeah. <laughs> this is what I said to, to I said to her, I feel like you're you're very well media trained, so to try and get something out of you is you're like I love people for life. That way, she's covered all grounds because if they are together, he can never be like, why are you denying me on camera for? <laughs> That's it's not even media. You know, I'm not media trained. This is all authentic. Like. Yeah, but I mean, because you've been I've, in I've the done public a lot of eye. Interviews, yeah. Exactly. So it's, I think it comes. No, but I'm being open. I just, yeah, just keeping it real, isn't it? Going back to the Lady Lucia thing. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> you can't leave it. Well, I spoke about it very briefly yeah. in the beginning. Because there were so many things going back and forth. Even the other day, I saw your name get dragged up. My again. name, again? Yeah, with... Well, um, because... My uh, name. Well, I no, need to hear this now. <laughs> Nole said, Lady Lucia, don't think I forgot when you came for my, my dad or something like that. Okay. And then everyone... Something about a tweet or something. I can't, I can't remember. And then everyone was saying in the comments that wasn't her. Paige Keiki took her phone and done it. Whoa, I did hack it, but I never sent out a tweet. But we all know I had to, like, out. So I that's what everyone saying. But I never, saying. ever sent out a tweet for one. So that's why. Yeah. So I was thinking, wow, like, this has that's come back up again. between them, them two. That's um, come <laughs> up again. So you're saying that it's all no, love no. between you two now. Listen, I, I've sent my apology. She knows I sent an apology and... Yeah, I'm all love. I don't have no animosity towards her. That's what I but want to is make it, But is it? You, you know when people say it's all love, it's all love. No, my whole thing is it's all love on my behalf. Like I'm, I'm, I've grown so in it. When I was young, I was very immature and I done some very, very dumb things that I do regret. But so when you reached out to her, was she receptive or? No, she didn't reply. But I know she saw it, and that's all that matters. That's all that. I reached out with an open heart, on a call, like you know, everything's cool. Like, have you ever bumped into her recently? No, not recently. I feel like you, you've been in the blogs quite a lot. Uh, last last year, you was in the blogs for apparently stealing <laughs> someone's idea or something like that. Someone's idea? Yeah, the t-shirts. I don't steal no one's idea. They said that they sent you a t-shirt, then you basically done it as your own thing. They sent, no, I sold the t-shirt, if that's what you're talking about. Yeah, as your own, yeah. as your own, like your own I thing. I didn't steal no idea. They... Well, you can't, <laughs> what would you call that then? <laughs> that's, that's called just selling an item. That they sent you? Yeah. Can, wait, can, I just want to put something clear about this situation. Yeah, go on. I am not the only person who gets things and sells things. But I get grilled because my thing pops. My, my Depop has... Oh, my, so my Depop pops. That's all it is. Right. If I was like all these other people selling other people's things that people gave them, I wouldn't get caught. And that's all it is. I'm not saying what I did was good because what I did was bad. But it's because my shit's popping. That's what it is. That's what I'm going to put it down to. So basically, no one's sending Paige Cakey any stuff. Just don't send me anything if this is... But do you know the funniest thing is people still send me stuff, innit? Why did you do that? Do you know what? I didn't know that I, it was a new item for one. I get so much sent, like things sent to my PO box. Right. Pick up parcels. Sometimes I don't open them. Sometimes I open them. Obviously, I've opened it. I, I did take photos. This is where the whole story got whatever. Right, right. I didn't respond to this whole thing neither. Cause yeah, you, that's one thing about you. I don't I like think... to give people... I've learned from my mistakes and I don't like to do this... I don't want to give people my clout because I see that that always happens. Right. And I'm not trying to... If you're dragging me, I'm not going to help you, so... Yeah. Go on, so but I got pictures in the T-shirt, so, yeah. Oh, and then you decided... Yeah, that. but obviously I didn't put the, t -sh the pictures out, so... Yeah. Oh, so that's why she was yeah. not happy about it. Yeah. Did you ever reach out to her to, like, apologise and say... Do you know what? I was going to, but then when I started reading all the tweets and the... Co like, you know, like, the entertainment, I just thought, nah. But obviously she's probably angry because yeah. she's... No, but when I saw, like, when I saw it end up on Twitter, I just thought, why didn't you just DM me? Like... Yeah, I probably would have DM'd you, you know? So you would have went straight to social media? 100%, like... I've but why? Because why? I've, I've sent you something. Yeah, but why? But, but at the same time, you came to me in my DMs, so why didn't you just come back to me in my, in my DMs? I replied to you in DMs. Because maybe she felt it was a disrespect. My whole thing is, the whole thing could have been handled so much, if, like, way differently. So what would you have done if she DM'd you, though? I would have been like, you know what, I'm sorry. And would you have given her the yeah, money? Yeah, I would have given her the money and the T-shirt. Like, I would have just sent it back and just apologised and put my hands up. But because it went on social media, I, I couldn't entertain it. So I just literally ignored it. And so the other thing that obviously everyone kind of was a viral thing was the whole hair transplant. Yeah. Hair's looking very nice. Thanks. Nice. <laughs> was it hard for you to put that out? Do you know what? I wasn't going to put it out. I was going to just wear wigs and get on with my life and not tell anybody. Yeah. But I didn't do my research to find out you couldn't wear a wig till 30 days later. 
Oh, so you done it and then found out? Yeah, so obviously I, oh, knew, shit. I knew like you can wear wigs and that after, but I didn't yeah. know it was 30 days. Uh, so obviously when I'm talking to the doctor after she shaved her hair and whatnot, I'm like, so can I put a wig on next week? No, like you can't wear 30 days. I was like, 30 days. So then obviously I was like, oh my days, what have I done? So. Oh, so you was going to try and do it as like I was going to hide it and then and my hair, what? and then I was going to make it like I just cut my hair short. Yeah. It didn't work, innit? But I'm happy that it didn't work because it... Did you have a lot of people yeah. reaching out to you? To this day, every single day, I get at least 10 because DMs it, about you it. you had uh, traction alopecia, right? Yeah. Which is done by... That's caused by yourself. So yourself. I caused that from my sort of hairstyles that I was doing and the hair products. But you still do quite tight hairstyles no, now. No, this is... Listen, this is when I had... This is why I had to do what I did the other day. My post went out on Shea Barra. Everyone started trying to get on to me. So then I put out my comment, I was replying to people, just to tell people, I don't do what I used to do. So I don't think you understand, back in the day, I used to pull my hair till my eyes was literally like this. Oh. But I like that vibe, now it's not, look, my hair is loose. Oh, okay. Do you get what I mean? It's not tight, like, I don't use gel, I use gummy. Okay. Like, I don't straighten my hair, obviously I'm straightening the weave, I don't straighten my hair, mm. I don't put heat in my hair. I only blow dry my hair when I'm in the hairdressers, I don't, at home. Ne never gonna dye my hair, like, but I just don't do the same hairstyles. But people don't understand that. People just but see that the edges you, are looking nice, so that you must be scraping it back no, and it's, no, it's, it's, it's tight. No, this is gummy, B. But my whole thing is, I knew this was gonna happen, and you can't get a hair transplant and think people ain't gonna be watching you. But my whole thing is, how do people want me to have my hair like Blue Ivy, just out in Afro all the time? Like, what hairstyle can I have? Maybe out in Afro. No, but no, it doesn't. <laughs> it don't. Trust me, it doesn't. It don't suit me. Oh, I think it looks nice. I like that you do the braids and stuff. Yeah. I feel like you kind of brought braids back. I think I brought it back and rinsed it at the same time. <sighs> nah, it's still there. But <laughs> it's everyone, there, but every, I every, think I rinsed <laughs> everyone, still, everyone still does the braids. Yeah. I think you kind of... I, I'm liking that the braids... Well, I've got braids now, but I'm liking that those type of hairstyles yeah. are, like, a thing. You don't really wear that much wigs anymore, do you? No. Nah. Do you know what? I just feel like they just sweat off. I was going to ask you if you saw Leanne's wig from Love Island, but you don't watch no, Love Island. I didn't Island. even watch it, no. That's a shame. Yeah, it was a bit peak. Mm. I got in trouble for that because I said it looked bad. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not allowed to ever say that another black woman's hair looks bad. Cause, Is it? Oh, my God. Because it's bringing them down and stuff like that. Yeah. So what have, you got, what have you got next? What's happening next? Um, i got a new single on the way. What's it called? Scrubs. Might change the name. Is it? To Ride or Die, but it's called Scrubs as of now. Have you ever had a public relationship? Oh, apart from that, um, no. what, you've never, like, never? Mm -mm. That, I've never, that's not. Nah. I wouldn't. You know, it's not for you. I just don't think, from past experience, like, I don't think it's a good idea because when and if it goes wrong, it's so long. Mm. Everyone's in your business. Yeah. I feel like keeping your life private is probably... But that's what I was going to... One thing you. that you did say is that I never, ever see you kind of, like, going back and forth with people online you anytime there's I been any like anything entertain people how I'm do you do it. that T teach me because i'm i'm just hearing the comments every every day yeah. just being do you know what i just ignore it in it block and delete do you follow like blog sites any of those things i need to follow one blog shea Barra. i like shea Barra as well but i feel like maybe because i've met the people do you get what i mean they, they seem quite yeah wholesome. they seem yeah and they don't usually like there might, there's probably been like one time or maybe two, but they don't really like put me on their blogs for like mm. bad stuff. Mm -hmm. It's usually like I'll big up page on their birthday and address like calm stuff, which I respect. So they're cool. So who you who you like looking out in the scene for? Who do you think's doing bits in the scene? Who do you think's flying the flag? Flying the flag right yeah. now for the females, Miss Banks. You, have you ever, no collaboration? Yeah, we've got music videos on YouTube. Have you? Yeah, we've got two videos together that we've done, like, probably, like, maybe four years ago. Anything current, maybe? Uh, no, but I'm going to shout her for something. We've got so many, like, so many old songs. Yeah, because she's, Miss Banks is, yeah, she's like, like, she's definitely picked up pace, I would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, I think that's really, because I, cause I do think Miss Banks is really good. No, I rate her, her and Steph. I rate, yeah, yeah big them up. Guys. I'm really like... Do you not feel though like that all the females in the scene are kind of the same? I feel like everyone's got their own flavour, everyone's got their own sauce. I feel like Steph has got the... But everyone looks the same. The dance all thing, but how? Like... Who do I look like? Barring you, that's what I'm saying, you don't really do the whole... I feel like girls generally do the sexy thing because it works. And obviously they're just, sort of, they're just girly, innit? Fair enough. So they're going to do that. Yeah. And then you've got the other, rap the other female rappers that do the tomboy thing. I'm just trying to balance in the middle. 
there. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I'm just balancing in the middle, like that's just me, innit? So what about what about male rappers? Um who like who do I like right now? Yeah. Um D Block Europe. Yeah, they're good, yeah. Um I'm trying to think, this is, I hate being put on a, like, everyone, Young Bane, Kojo Fun, Chip. All right, if we're going to mention new people, then that guy, I don't know what his name is. P.A. They don't know about the front line. Oh, what? Well, yeah, how yeah, do you say yeah. his the name? The one that's a bit like Jay Huss. Yeah, but how do you say his name? I don't know how to say his name. I don't know how to say his name, but, but he, he is, is lit. Yeah, he yeah. is. Like, he's like picking him. up a lot of, um, do you think he's picking up a lot of traction, though, because people are comparing him to Jay Huss? The maddest thing is I haven't seen the comparison yet, but I've, I've seen it in my DMs when they're like, right. what's that new Jay Huss song you're playing? And I was like, it's not Jay Huss, but I haven't seen it on the internet, but I just feel like he's got a good team around him right now. He yeah. does. And I like um, Kid of Cards. Right. Like, I like his vibe, he's sick. Do you, do you feel like the males in the scene do enough to support the females in the scene? Or do you think it's kind of like a separate entity, like they kind no, of do I their feel thing? Like, I feel like they do, they do support. Like, I do feel like the guys support the girls. They could probably support more, but then that's just down to girls needing... We need to support each other more. Do you think it's the UK thing, the girls not supporting each other, or do you think... Even America... No, actually, America's not like that, though, really. They are, but they're not. Yeah, I think... I, I do think it's kind of like a crabs in the barrel thing, not even to do with race, but just crabs using that... Crabs in the barrel? Yeah, like, you know, crabs <laughs> when they're trying to... Everyone's oh, trying yeah, to get yeah, to yeah, the top, yeah. so it's like they're climbing on top of each other. I just feel like, as females, we need to just remember that we can bring... Like, we need to lift each other up, basically. And we need to just stop trying to think there's only like one spot. Because there isn't. We could have four lit females at the top at one time. We could have five, we could have a hundred. We don't have to have one. Let's all like pull each other up the ladder, innit? Do you think you're the best though? What, rapping? Yeah. No? No. No. Nah. I don't think I'm the best rapper. I think I've got like the best vibes. But I'm not going to sit here and say I'm the best rapper because I know I'm not the best rapper. But I know I've got the best vibes when it comes to choruses, hooks, singing, yeah. Not singing like that, but sing rap. Right, I so get like, what you mean. What do you call that? Sing rap, innit? Like the auto-tune rap sing thing. Like, I, I, think, got the vibe. I think with you, you've got quite good likability. Yeah. I think people can kind of relate to you. Mm -hmm. You don't seem um, like, this might sound wrong, but you don't seem unattainable. <laughs> do you get what I mean? Yeah. Like down to earth. There's some yeah. rappers that you look at and you think, oh, mm. like, I, I couldn't be like her, whereas you, like, even when it comes to, like, makeup, how you do your hair, it's very just yeah. normal. Just do you get what I, I'm I saying? It's I, just... I can't and I don't do the contour thing. I just keep it foundation, eyelash, pium, out the door. I said, pium, out the door. <laughs> so you've got a new single coming out, yeah. maybe called No Scrubs. No, not yeah. No Scrubs, Scrubs. Scrubs or Ride or Die. You'll see it anyway. But that's so weird that the, the, I'm, I'm, the, those two names are throwing me off. The wow. two, because Scrubs, I would think it's about men are shit or whoever no, so shit. No, it's about it's about like no scrubs. I don't want no scrubs. But then then to call it the yeah, alternative to call ride, ride or die. Yeah, ride or die. Do you get what I mean? I don't want a scrub. I need a ride or die. Have you ever done a video mm -hmm. with a female love interest? No. I have thought about it, yeah. You but should. I feel like that is a lot. Like I've only ever seen one person do that at a bond, and it worked. It was lit. But I feel like that is a lot. Why? Because you can do your. You can. How be... do you take that in? Well, why? Why wouldn't you? Like, take I feel it like in? that would be so controversial. But yeah. That's what's yeah, good. I know. <laughs> why would it? Why would it? You? I don't know. I feel like it's a lot. But I've thought about it. I feel like in a in in a in a um, same sex relationship, I feel like you're more the dominant one. Why? And that's just the vibe that I get. I think I'm very very bossy and bossy. That's yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Okay. So then in the music video, you'd be okay. like not young Ma, not young Ma. No 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 no. no. A little bit like mm. stage loaf type of vibe. Yeah, okay. and then you'll get like the femme girl, the like the lipstick yeah. femme girl, and then you could do like a. It would bang. I'm basically you, giving you a whole concept. Yeah, it would bang. It would because bang. people are going to think that your song is about men, but really you're talking about. Did you want to play in the video? Let's do this. Yeah, hey, we've got a role. Basically, giving me, you a role. Basically, I'm. <laughs> do we have to kiss and stuff? <laughs> yeah. Now go on. You can say it. You said that you like to lick pussy, so you can do that in the video. I'm just here rapping. <laughs> 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 on that note. <laughs>
but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna think about that video though. It'll be a good yeah. idea. I could find you nice girls. That sounds really weird, but yeah, like, I You're could. Pimp. No, 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 not like that. But I can, I can. You got an agency. I could, I could yeah, I could, it's I could put it out there. Agency. I think I might start one. Yeah. Why not? That's a nice little side hustle, isn't it? In it. I feel like you're flirting with me a little bit. No, I feel like flirting with me. <laughs> Stop it. Because everyone always says I flirt with people. Now, what they're going to say, they're going to be like, Zizi blatantly wants to lick um, Paige oh Cakey's cheek. Look days. at her, look at her blushing. She can't get everyone. Anyone I see yeah, opposite, I they say I want to, I want to, I want to bone in with. On the video. Nah, I never know. <laughs> Said that in the caption. <laughs> no, exactly. I can't, I can't do anything. It's just my nature. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for coming on. Thank you, mum. It's been a good chat. It, See, it wasn't that bad, was it? No, it was good. I thought it was going to be a proper, like, grilling. No, it's just like it a went, nice... It weren't bad. That's right. It's cool. So, tell the people where to find you. Find me. Just go to Google and type in Paige Cakey. It's so cheesy, but yeah, just find me on... She said go to... Instagram, innit? M.S. Paige Cakey. She said go to Google. Just it's the easiest way to find all my socials. That's because she's been around for about 12 years. So, everything, <laughs> is on, everything is on there. Everything is there. Literally. Okay, guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. We out. <laughs> yeah, yeah.